And speaking of a man who really works hard, our very own Dr. Bob. Help me, please, doctor. Who years ago had a decision to make. Should he, should he come with me or should he go with Oprah? And he said, you know what? Let Dr. Oz go with Oprah. I'm going with Jake. You tell me if that was a wise decision. Good morning, Dr. Bob. Good morning, Jake. I'm so glad to hear that the show is focused on three of my favorite topics. Yeah, we're not we're dogs. Gonna, I know we're going to avoid them today with you. Dog species and men having sex with horses. That's, you know, those are three three big ones. And for those who are just joining us, yes, you'll see it in your Chicago Times this morning. There was somebody at the Arlington Park racetrack who uh, became very affectionate with a, with a four-year-old filly. God. And underage, too. It's bad enough it's a horse, but he was underaged. Last year, there was a guy in Washington State who died um, while he was mounting a horse. If it kills him, it kills him. <laughs> Yeah, so... Uh, I got to tell you, this show is hell. I can't stand it. I'm sorry, Dr. Bob. Did I throw you off for a second? Yeah, uh, can I tell you a story that happened to me yesterday? It's um, the boomerang effect from Facebook. Uh, yesterday at 6 a.m., I'm scanning Facebook, and one of your friends is a, is a dog, and it was a dog's birthday, so the dog is pictured there on a nice hardwood floor next to a, a birthday cake. So I post on there, boy, that's real nice, uh, you know, floor there. If I were you, I'd poop on it. And so that's 6 a.m., it's dark out, and so I fig, you know, I figure I did my good deed for the day. I go downstairs to my house to uh, make myself a cup of coffee. It's dark. I don't turn the lights on because I'm kind of cheap and want to save money. And Barefoot, I stepped into a large hot steamer that my my 145 pound dog had left for me, and I figured that uh, this was um, an example of uh, post unto others as you would have them post unto you, and I uh, I, I feel in some way that the, the Facebook spiritually led my dog to do that to me. It's karma. It's karma. I don't like that karma thing. My karma ran over my dogma. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, can I send a shout out to James from uh, friend of the show and sponsor? No, no, you can't. Concrete polish. No, you can't do any of that stuff. No, no, we got to. stay, stay. He, I know. I, we have a lot of friends of the show. Let's just move, let's keep let's keep focused here. Flu shots. Yes. Last year there were two different shots you should get: the seasonal flu and the H one N one. This year it's all rolled into one. It's the H1N1 is one of the three parts of the standard seasonal influenza shot. It's still recommended for everybody to get the influenza shot. There's going to be way enough vaccine for everybody this year. Everybody's recommended. Everybody over six months of age is recommended to get a flu shot as long as you're not significantly allergic to eggs. If you're worried about thimerosal in the vaccine, which I personally am not, but if you are, there's lots of thimerosal-free vaccine. So it's a good thing for everybody to get. There you go. See? Was that so hard? No. But You don't like being a doctor, do you? Well, you know, I used to be a plum, plumbing and heating guy, and um, <laughs> that, that's, that was more fun. You know, you sit around and talk. And then I was unemployed for a year, and I went back to college, and here I am now. And all, you know, when you go to cocktail parties, everybody, you know, you want to talk about plumbing and heating, and everybody else wants to talk to you about, you know, their ailments. And my shoulder hurts when I, you know. But I'm surprised though. But your specialty is 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 germs. It's very interesting. I really enjoy it. Yeah, but wouldn't it have been a better? Wouldn't it be would it have been better like when you go to parties, you tell people, hey, yeah, I used to be in plumbing and heating, and now I'm a urologist. Or a gynecologist? Wouldn't that wouldn't that be a better kind of transition? Okay, <clears throat> when you're not a I guess urologist not. or a gynecologist, they talk to you about it. But when you're a urologist or gynecologist, they say, "Hey, can I show you something?" You okay, know, I guess. And it it's not all pleasant, Jake. Doctor hurts when I do this. Don't do this. I know. Well, I've 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 lots of I have lots of stories of unpleasant situations. And you see, one one nice thing about doing what I do is I see the urology patients and I see the gynecology patients and stuff like that. But I see them when they're infected or you know have some other unusual thing going on. But um, I get a broad sampling of all all the, the whole spectrum of medicine. It's very very interesting. <laughs> so I, I can't complain. All right, Doctor Bob, uh, we we have to go now. You know why we have to go? Because Joe Rosansky's coming up with sports. No, because we have our other doctor to get to. Oh, no. Yes. Okay. Bye-bye, Dr. Bob. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>
Goodbye, that's Dr. Bob. Two B's, one O. But now we're joined by our other doctor of the show, Dr. Julie. Good morning, Dr. Julie. Hi, I haven't called since you changed station. Now, why is that? Well, I really didn't have anything to say. <laughs> the Dr. Bob never does either. <laughs> but he's funny. I know that. Yeah, he's very that's gonna be That's going to be his next thing. Yeah, a comedian after heating and air conditioning or yeah. whatever. And I could have been with Oprah, but I went with Jake. Oh, lucky man, lucky man. Hey, I wanted to say that um, when you said... When I go to par- anywhere, when I go to the grocery store, when I walk down the- anywhere, people have me look at their skin. That is so true. I want to tell them I'm a brain surgeon. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you wear? Something that says doctor on no. you so people know? No, I mean, I'm just saying when I go to, like if I go to the um, some doctor dinner dance, I'm in the bathroom looking at all the wives' skin. It's, it's crazy. I mean, what do they ask Dr. Bob about infectious disease? Or plumbing and heating. Yeah. <laughs> now, would it be wrong for me if people ask what I do? I said, doctor, would that be wrong if no. I'm not one? No, but, yeah, I think that would be very, very interesting. You should say, and you need to make up, like, proctologist or something and see what they what they ask you. And see what kind of stories I can get? That's it. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I, they need to give you more time on this station. I'm, I have five till seven. Oh, God. What? <laughs> Get rid of those. No, 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 no. Eight, five to seven. I'm here. Okay. Okay. It's not quantity. It's quality. Don't yeah. you? Do, isn't that what women always say? <laughs> Very true. Very true. I haven't heard that lately. But anyway, that's what I understand they say. Uh-huh. Take, take care, Dr. Julie. Talk to you. Bye-bye. Bye. <laughs> there she goes, Dr. Julie. You've, you've had both doctors this morning. No waiting. And this is in spite of Obamacare. When that whole thing kicks in, we may have to cut back all the doctors. You won't see any doctors. You know the death panels they say work? You're not going to have death panels? Oh, that, that, you're gonna have, never going to have death panels. That won't happen. You know how it is going to happen? You know how it's going to happen? I'm going to tell you that at 6.30. After 6.30, I'm going to give you a good example how it's going to happen because it's happening right now in a different part of government. And we have a whole lot. Man, we have so much to get to. Man, it's just, I'm so excited. I may, I may even stay awake for the next 40 minutes. Uh, 619, back after this in WLS. Awake with Jake. Jake Hartford. 890 AM. WLS.